Arizona State has announced that it will move the Thunderbird School of Global Management to downtown Phoenix. The graduate students at Thunderbird may start taking classes at one Arizona center in fall 2018 or spring 2019. The school has approximately 400 graduate students. The new Thunderbird building will be at Polk Street between 1st and 2nd Streets, next to the Sandra Day O'Connor School of Law, and is expected to open in January 2021. In a unanimous decision, the Phoenix City Council committed $13.5 million to Arizona State University's newest downtown expansion project. The Thunderbird School adds to the rapid-growing downtown campus for ASU. When the school opened during the 2006 and 2007 academic year, the downtown campus accounted for 5% of total ASU full-time enrollment. In the current academic year, the campus accounts for about 18%. The Thunderbird School was created in 1946 and was the first ever higher education school to focus exclusively on international management. Arizona State University and Thunderbird merged in 2014. The Thunderbird campus has been in Glendale for 71 years. I decided to visit the Thunderbird campus for myself and see how the students feel about the move to downtown Phoenix. I'm, I'm genuinely excited about the move, you know. Uh, we can finally, you know, um, enjoy some of the scenery that's down there, so many activities to do, uh, you know, uh, bigger groups of people, uh, better environments to learn in terms of best uh, practices, especially for my industry, you know, where uh, different brands are thriving in downtown. So being able to see that firsthand, um, and also the professionals that are in downtown, I mean, that's that's just um, an asset that we're ready to tap into. And uh, about the move, you know, Thunderbird is a mindset. So regardless of where you take us, so even if, I mean, if we were to be moved into the middle of the Indian Ocean in an island, you know, Thunderbird being a T-bird is a mindset. So we'll still thrive. I know the school is doing their absolute best to make sure every student's well informed. I've had several public meetings where they discuss what's going to happen as far as housing and curriculum. Um, so we're excited. We think it's a fantastic new launch. Well, I'm excited. It's, I think yeah. it's a very great move. It's very strategic and I'm really excited to be downtown. I think it's going to be great for Thunderbird. Absolutely. How will this affect me personally? Growth, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Uh, every, everything looks promising. So for me, it's good and bad. Good is like, well, as I've said, it's easy to meet like, company people, have interviews. Uh, bad side is uh, I chose to come to this campus because of its beautiful environment. And now we will be detached from it. And I also live on campus. So I mean, that would be a, a big investment to live, find new apartment. Um, so um, yeah, I'm a little bit concerned about it, but also excited about the new change. I think that um, one of the challenges and some things that I'm concerned about is just maintaining some of the traditions that the Thunderbird has and um, ensuring that the brand um, still remains um, as intact as it is um, for, for, for the students and for, <laughs> for Thunderbird. Do you need a certain amount of storage and classrooms and meeting rooms and that sort of facility needs uh, that we might be struggling with as students? Like with the, the interim space, I know we only really have one floor for us for all the classrooms right. all the club storage so i know clubs have a lot of equipment um, we have a, a musical group here called global sounds they have a ton of musical instruments and that's and a so, big concern for that group as well as are we going to be able to still function as a group and still be able to to play um you know given the limited spacing that we have and then parking is another thing as well that people kind of uh, have a big concern about here on campus is do we have um the right space and and just the the um the cost to the students, is it going to be uh, reasonable, um, you know, with the move downtown? Would I keep Thunderbird in Glendale if given the option? I, I would keep Thunderbird in Glendale, but then I'd move Glendale to downtown. Yeah, because the move is a very good way to socialize and just connect with other people. Okay. I agree. Um, I think um, although the campus here is beautiful and it has a lot of um, history, um, the move downtown is going to be the best thing for Thunderbird. Absolutely. I think the ideal scenario would be is if we can take all what, 170 acres and put it downtown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like if we could take all of this and put it downtown, like that's just the ideal situation. Yeah, I think, yeah, same. Yeah, <laughs> it's a sensitive question actually.